start to play. Ashley versus machine. Desktop. All right. All right. All right. All right. Yes. Welcome back to Top Shelf Gaming. Welcome, guys. She's very nervous about the whole camera situation. I don't. I don't like cameras. The elevator is in use. Creepy. All right. Here we go. It's a pretty background. It's very pretty backdrop. It's very quiet. I feel like we should have music in the background. Sing me something. <laughs> and I will always love you. I will always. Oh, there it goes. Save. Oh, it doesn't say determination anymore. Wow, it just says new home. Oh, shoot. Did you see that? What? Oh, the Windows capture came on. That's funny. Oh, this is Goat Mom's home. Before we killed her. The way is. This is a different home, though. The way is blocked by two padlocks. Yeah, I'm positive. That was way back in the beginning. But maybe you did, like, a giant Padlocks. Loop. No. There's a note attached. Howdy. I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. So two keys. It's a golden flower. The music's nice. This is nice. It's a golden flower. <gasps> There's enemies in here? Apparently. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Help. It wasn't even an encounter. I wonder if that ruined our genocide run. Because it wouldn't let us. Why is this happening? Kill it. Just hit the record button again. I don't know why it's doing this. It's not on referring data. Please, please wait. Now it's ready. I don't know what is happening to it. Alright, we're back. I don't know why the camera is effing up. You took the key and put it in your phone's keychain. There's some white fur stuck in the drain. It might be a dog! Maybe. Like, the dog washed its paws off. Israel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. Then what? We don't. We will never know. presents. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Absolutely. You got the heart-shaped locket. There's a worn dagger inside yes. the box. Yes. You got the worn dagger. Let's equip it. Dagger. Hold on. Attack 15. Oh. Use. Golden flowers. More golden flowers. Room under renovations. Hey, another key. Uh. Well, this will finish. Over time, Ezreal and the human came, became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. Aww. The underground was full of hope. I wonder what happened. I wonder if he took slaughtered the key everyone. Into the key chain. It's a trophy. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle of champs. 98. It's the it's dogs. It's a doggy! I wonder if it's that little puppy. Dude, we killed him. We killed the dogs. No, not the puppy puppy. It's a girl. There's a Santa Claus outfit inside. It's a clothes drawer. There are robes, button-up shirts, and a pink hand-knit sweater that says, Mr. Dad Guy. Okay. Instead of bad guy, dad uh, guy. It's a king-sized bed. How lucky can one guy be? Sorry. Hmm. Ugh. Why? Is it still recording? No. I don't know what's happening to it. This is the first time this has ever happened. Why? Is it recording? No. It needs to be on standby first. I don't know why this is happening. Buffering data, please wait. Why? Maybe for my slow internet. 
It's ticking me off. Welcome back for the second time. Third time, guys. Yeah. Um, right, where did it say to meet her? The garden? Yeah, it's down the stairs, I think. Oh, you unlocked the chain. That explains that. <laughs> then, one day, the human became very ill. That sucks. He probably died. We'll find out here, maybe. The sick human had only one request. Uh, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. They look like he he he. Mm. The next day, the next day, I died. The human died. I can see the future. That sucks. Azrael racked with grief. What? Absorbed the human soul. He transformed into being, into a being with incredible power. Why can't I read? Do you want me to? With the human soul, Azriel crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Aww. Back to the village of the humans. Pretty depressing. All little duckies. Azriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. That's what all the golden flowers are! Carried the human into it. That's pretty sad. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azriel holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. And they probably attacked him. Yeah. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But he probably didn't. You just really can read this future. <laughs> but. Azrael did not fight back. Cl oh. Clutching the human. Ah, let's just do the rest of the episode without it. Okay. It's the camera's bugging out, so just forget it. The clutching the human, Azriel smiled and walked away. Wounded Azriel stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. So you like dissipate in the dust or dust on him? Hmm? The kingdom fell into despair. What are you talking about? Like, did he literally the king like die and queen in the dust? Had, the queen and queen had lost two children in one night. Oh, the other son died, and yeah. then he went into dust. The humans had, once again, taken everything from us. So that's why they hate humans. I wouldn't like them. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. They look like they're dancing. <clears throat> it's not long now. King Asgore will let us go, uh, will give us hope, will save us all. You should be smiling, too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. got really quiet. Yeah. Last corridor. Well, that's... Oh, look how pretty it is. It's like the Zelda squares. Hmm. Oh, look who it is. I know who it is. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet with the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now. You will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every XP you've earned. What's XP? 
It's an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you have inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your XP increases. When you have enough XP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. Yeah. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. True, after we killed Goat Mom, it was pretty easy. Now you understand. It's time to begin your judgment. Look inside yourself. Have you really done the right thing? And, considering what you've done, what will you do now? Kill you. Take a moment to think about this. I will kill you. We killed your brother already. Oh, it's actually giving me a moment. Truthfully, it doesn't really matter what you say. All that's important is that you are honest with yourself. What happens now? We leave up to you. Though, one thing about you has struck me as kind of odd. Now I understand acting in self-defense. You were thrown into these situations against your will, but sometimes you act as you act like you know what's going to happen. Like you've already experienced it all before. This is an odd thing to say, but if you have some sort of special power, isn't it your responsibility to do the right thing? No. It's up to you. I'd be like, no. The right thing is hey. to kill you. Well, that's your viewpoint. I won't judge you for it. You dirty brother killer. <gasps> His eyes went black. I wonder if he's going to be the final boss. Throne room. Save. Heck yeah. And I think that's all the time we have today. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next time. Goodbye. Don't forget to be kind to others. Bye guys. Oh, that's right, I'm using OBS. Bye.